हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ इज डॉक्टर शशांक सौ फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू डू द प्रोग्रामिंग इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट व्हाट आई रियलाइज एंड गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट दैट द प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ द जावा स्क्रिप्ट दे आर फेसिंग सम प्रॉब्लम सो देयर फोर आई डिसाइडेड टू आई विल गिव ए लाइव demonstration about how to do the programming in java script so i will do the programming in java script and run the program so that you can easily understand what is the way of the programming and how to run the program in java script and how to write the program in java script let me start for this video i am going to use the notepad notepad++ you can see it. you can easily download the notepad++ from internet now uh, to start a java script basically it is a html program so i am going to write a simple html program so this is a simple html program now i have to include a javascript isme ab aapko ek javascript ka code likhna hai so to write any javascript code first start from the script tag sabse pehle aap script tag likhenge ye script tag ke beech mein aap जावा स्क्रिप्ट का कोड लिखेंगे सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट ए वेरी सिंपल कोड ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट लाइक डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट राइट हेलो सेमीकॉलन ये एक बहुत ही छोटा प्रोग्राम है जिसमें मैंने स्क्रिप्ट टैग के अंदर डॉक्यूमेंट एक प्री डिफाइंड ऑब्जेक्ट है जावा स्क्रिप्ट का राइट एक मेथड है इस ऑब्जेक्ट का जिसमें मैंने हेलो प्रिंट कराना है तो आप यू कैन सी इट अगर आपको जावा स्क्रिप्ट लिखनी है तो एस के प्रोग्राम में ही आपको जावा स्क्रिप्ट लिखनी है लेकिन वो स्क्रिप्ट टैग के बीच में होना चाहिए स्क्रिप्ट टैग इज ए इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट टू राइटिंग एनी जावा स्क्रिप्ट प्रोग्राम नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज इस प्रोग्राम को हमें सेव करना है सेव एंड मैं डेस्कटॉप पे सेव करता हूँ एक फोल्डर बना लिया मैंने फॉर एग्जाम्पल टेस्ट जावा स्क्रिप्ट और इस प्रोग्राम को मैंने सेव कर दिया हेलो डॉट एस टी एम एल से वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट कि ये एक जावा स्क्रिप्ट का प्रोग्राम है लेकिन इसको आप डॉट एस से ही सेव करेंगे क्योंकि एस में ही हमने जावा स्क्रिप्ट को एम्बेड किया हुआ है तो ये अब आपका प्रोग्राम सेव हो गया सिंपल सा प्रोग्राम है जो कि हेलो को डिस्प्ले करेगा अब इस प्रोग्राम को रन कैसे करेंगे क्योंकि ये एक एस का प्रोग्राम है सो दिस प्रोग्राम विल बी रन इन द ब्राउजर तो आप फोल्डर पर जाएंगे देर इज ए टेस्ट फोल्डर जावा स्क्रिप्ट ये हेलो वर्ल्ड का प्रोग्राम है हम इसको रन करेंगे ये देखिए यहाँ पे लिख के आ गया डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट राइट हेलो यानी दिस इज नॉट अब नाउ यू कैन सी देर इज सम एरर इन हियर सो इट इज नॉट वर्किंग इट इज सोइंग एज इट इज हियर ओके सो वी हैव टू करेक्ट दिस एरर Uh, you can see that uh, here we have a html then we have a head section then we have a body section then we have written the script tag now to write any java script program it should be written within the script tag within the script we have written a an object is document then write is the method and we are going to display the message hello world it is a very simple java script program when you have written the javascript program next part is to save this program so you will save this program with the help of dot uh, html uh, with extension because it is a html file 
and we are embedding the JavaScript contain within the HTML. Now program is ready. Now I am running this program. So this is the program name is hello world. And when you run this program, it will display in the browser. Now you can see here, you can see here hello world is displaying in the browser. So this is the first program of the JavaScript, how to write the JavaScript program and how to run the program. Next I am going to write uh, a second program. I will write the JavaScript in head section. तो हेड सेक्शन में अगर आपको प्रोग्राम लिखना है तो बेटर ऑप्शन है कि पहले आप एक फंक्शन बनाएं तो मैं यहां पे एक फंक्शन बना रहा हूं फंक्शन बनाने के लिए आप फंक्शन वर्ड लिखेंगे जावास्क्रिप्ट में फिर एक फंक्शन का नाम देंगे डिस्प ये एक फंक्शन रेडी हो गया अब इसमें आप कोई भी इंस्ट्रक्शन जावास्क्रिप्ट का इंक्लूड कर सकते हैं जैसे कि मैं यहां पे जावास्क्रिप्ट का ये इंस्ट्रक्शन इंक्लूड करने जा रहा हूं हमने लिख दिया डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट राइट हेलो वर्ल्ड और स्क्रिप्ट टैग के बीच में होना चाहिए नाउ स्क्रिप्ट टैग इज विद इन देड सेक्शन तो जितना भी आप जावा स्क्रिप्ट लिखेंगे वो स्क्रिप्ट टैग के बीच में होना चाहिए पहले मैंने जो अभी प्रोग्राम किया था स्क्रिप्ट टैग इज रिटेन विद इन द बॉडी सेक्शन नाउ इन दिस प्रोग्राम आई हैव रिटेन द स्क्रिप्ट टैग विद इन देड सेक्शन अब अब एक फंक्शन ये रेडी हो गया जावा स्क्रिप्ट का नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज इस फंक्शन को हमें कॉल करना है तो कॉल कैसे करें तो कॉल करने के लिए आपको एक एस में बटन बनाना होगा बटन बनाने के लिए वी विल यूज द इनपुट टैग इनपुट टाइप इक्वल टू बटन नाउ दिस बटन इज रेडी अब मुझे इस फंक्शन को कॉल करना है जो कि हमने जावा स्क्रिप्ट में बनाया है तो उसके लिए आपको एक इवेंट हैंडलर का नाम लिखना होगा नाम इज ऑन क्लिक सो ऑन क्लिक इज द इवेंट हैंडलर व्हेन वी क्लिक ऑन ए बटन इट विल कॉल ए फंक्शन सो राइट ऑन क्लिक देन इक्वल टू उसके बाद इस फंक्शन को आप कॉल कर लेंगे दिस सेमी कॉलन इज ऑप्शनल तो ये हमने फंक्शन कॉल कर लिया और ये हमने बटन जब आप बटन को प्रेस करेंगे तो डिस फंक्शन कॉल हो जाएगा और उसमें ये हेलो वर्ल्ड डिस्प्ले हो जाएगा अब इस प्रोग्राम को मैं सेव करता हूं और फिर से इस प्रोग्राम को रन करता हूं तो आप देखिए यहां पे बटन दिख रहा है लेकिन इस बटन पे कोई वैल्यू डिस्प्ले नहीं हो रही है फिर भी इस बटन को जब हम क्लिक करेंगे तो यहां पर यह हेलो वर्ल्ड डिस्प्ले होके आ गया जो कि हमने डॉक्यूमेंट डॉट राइट में मैसेज दिया है दैट मैसेज इज डिस्प्लेइंग नाउ इन द ब्राउजर सो नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज वी नीड टू राइट समथिंग इन द बटन जिससे कि हम आइडेंटिफाई कर सकें कि ये बटन है तो उसकी एक वैल्यू प्रॉपर्टी होती है इनपुट टैग की यहाँ पे लिखेंगे वैल्यू और यहाँ पे हमने लिख दिया एक मैसेज क्लिक मी फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन राइट एनी मैसेज हियर अभी आपका बटन जब डिस्प्ले होगा तो उसमें एक मैसेज डिस्प्ले होगा क्लिक मी इस पर जब आप क्लिक करेंगे तो ये फंक्शन कॉल हो जाएगा इस प्रोग्राम को हम फिर से रन करते हैं हेलो वर्ल्ड नाउ यू कैन सी यर इन द बटन वी आर डिस्प्लेइंग ए मैसेज क्लिक मी जो कि हमने यहाँ पे वैल्यू प्रॉपर्टी के अंदर एक मैसेज दिया हुआ है वॉट एवर द मैसेज यू विल गिव हियर वेट इट विल बी डिस्प्ले ऑन द बटन सो इट इज डिस्प्लेइंग ऑन द बटन सो वेन वी क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन इट विल डिस्प्ले ए मैसेज हेलो वर्ल्ड so it is very easy to write a javascript program you can write the javascript program in body section also and you can write the body, javascript program in head section also but it is better to write the javascript program in head section within a function and call this function with the help of uh, uh, instruction written in the body section like uh, we are using a button and within the button we are calling the function Next, uh, I am going to discuss about three important statement of the JavaScript. The first one is alert, alert dialog box. मैं यहाँ पे alert लिखता हूँ. Alert. Message is same. Function name is same. When we click on this uh, button, it will call the function disk. And but in this time, it will display alert message and display the message hello world. so we save the program 
and running the program here. Now you can see click me and this is the message because of the alert dialog box. You, you can see uh, the message we have given hello word. So, it is displaying hello word. Click on the OK button. If you change the message, for example, we change the message here AKGC. digital word. So, the message will be changed. Save the program. Again, we run the program here. So, click me. You can see the message has been changed. So, alert box is used when you want to display something. You want to give the information to the user. Then, we are using the dialog box of the alert. Next, I am going to discuss about uh, confirm box a confirm statement. So, instead of putting we are using the confirm here. You can see the confirm. So, in this confirm uh, statement dialog box, there will be two button one is ok and cancel. So, when you ok it will send the true message, when you click on the cancel it will display the, uh, it will send the false message like uh, when running this program, click me. So, you can see there two buttons are given. So, you can confirm a, a message here. You can click in the OK. So, it will receive the true. When we click on the cancel, it will receive the false. So, that depends upon you. You can receive the message here like uh, create a variable here, variable A equal to confirm. And when you run this program, so A value will be display. You can see here, you can display the value of A with the help of alert, alert. Value of A is now running the program click me. So, if you click here ok. So, value of A is true. You can see when you click on the ok. So, it will return the true message. If we click on the cancel, it will display the false message. Next statement is prompt. Prompt is a dialog box to get an input from the user. So, you can get the input here. Like here, you can write the message, enter your name and you can default the message like uh, Amit is default name that will be display. And uh, you can display the message like this way. Hello plus A. So, whatever you enter will be stored in a variable A and it will display with the uh, one word is hello A. Suppose you in enter uh, Rajesh, so it will display hello Rajesh. So, see the program. Click me. So, it is asking for a name. Uh, enter your name. By default, uh, name is Amit because we have given the default name. Here, you can write uh, Rajesh and click OK. So, you can see hello Rajesh is there. So, with the help of prompt box, you can uh, take the input from the user. And with the help of confirm box, you can uh, get uh, the confirmation of a message like OK or cancel. And with the help of alert box, you can display the message. Next, I am going to uh, discuss about how to write uh, addition of two number with the help of JavaScript. So, to take, first of all, we need to take the two value from the user. 
So, I am writing two text boxes in type equal to text and we have given the name of this text box for example, T1 and here you can write enter first name. sorry first number. Similarly, we are for the next line. Now, you can write enter second number, then we are using the same text box. I am just copying it, its name is T2. So, we have to create a form. So, writing the form here, form write the name of the form name equal to for example, F1 and this is the end of the form. Okay. So, now you can see we have a one form. In the one form, we have a two text box. T1 and T2. Within the T1, we will take the number 1 and within the T2, we will take the number 2 and we are calling a function. So, we are just changing its name of the function is sum. So, again you are you need to change here sum and here you can give the name find summation. Now, very important part, how we will get a value of this text box? How will you get a value of text box? I am learning this simple program, uh, so that you can easily understand uh, what is the meaning of. Now, these are the two text boxes. So, we suppose we have written here 5. So, we need to take the 5 from this text box and we have written 6. So, we need to take the 6 from this uh, text box. So, then we can perform the addition of these two numbers. So, again going back to the function. So, a very important part is how will you get uh, this uh, value from this text box. So, to get a value from this text box, first we have created a variable a equal to then we write the document dot. Now, F1 is the form. So, we write the F1 here. F1 is the form name. So, you can access any text box with the help of form name. So, here form ka naam F1 hai, text box ka naam T1 hai. So, just write F1. Then we have written T1. Now, to get the value of a text box, we need to use the value property. So, ye aapne value property use kiya, semicolon. Then we are again I am repeating semicolon is optional, but I am using here document dot f1 dot t2 dot then we are using value. Okay. Now, we get two value a and b, but this value a and b is of string type. So, we need to convert into integer. So, here we can use uh, parse int is the method to convert into integer. So, value will be converted into integer. Okay. Now, we have a and b, then we can create a value c. Now, again, uh, to create any variable in JavaScript, no need to write var. This keyword is not important, just write c equal to a plus b summation will be performed. Then in alert, you can display summation is plus c. Okay. So, it is a very simple program to get the two value from the text box and convert into integer format, then perform the addition and display the 
result with the help of alert. Now I am running this program. First of all, save the program, then run the program. Okay. Now suppose we have written four here, we have written five here, and perform the final summation. You can see summation is nine. Again, I am repeating the program. Suppose we have written ten, we have written twelve, and find summation. You can see the summation is twenty-two. So this is a very simple program. With the help of this uh, program, we can uh, uh, perform addition of two number with the help of JavaScript. Just write a function and write the logic here, and it is embedded in the HTML. Next, I am going to perform uh, the validation of text boxes, validation of form with the help of JavaScript. This is a very important. How will you perform the validation with the help of JavaScript? So. Uh, first validation i am going to perform to find out uh, whether a text box is uh, null or not so suppose t1 is written here so here enter the first name enter name here suppose one text box is there and remove the t2 okay and validate validate is the name of the function validate and we have written validate here okay next uh, uh, we need to check right now first i am running the program as it is so here uh, when we run this program you can see if you click on here uh, first we need to make some changes in the coding so that you can perform validation okay then we are running the program okay so when you perform any validation it is not showing anything if you write something so it is not validated whether a text box is null or not so i am going to write a program whether a text box is null or not so see the here okay so first of all we need to again create a variable a equal to and take the value of the form so value of the form can be written document dot f1 dot t1 dot value then you can check if statement if a dot length length equal to 0 then you can display the alert alert please write name okay so it is a simple program to check whether it is uh, a text box is null or not so let me run the program okay and perform the please write a name so it is checking whether this text box is null or not so when you write something here suppose written Rajesh, so it will not display any dialog box, it will not display any alert box because we have already written in the text box. Okay, so next I am going to display to check whether a text box consists of numbers only. So there is a text box, uh, and in this text box, we need to ensure that user will enter only the numbers. So we will use the regular expression here. So, we have write a regular expression like variable reg equal to slash. So, write any regular expression. Uh, if you refer my theory video, I have already explained what is the regular expression. So, write the slash here, then we have a caret symbol starting of any 
regular expression 0 dash 9 then plus then dollar dash you can put the semicolon ok. So, to write any regular expression start from uh, slash then uh, starting must be from a number. So, we have used the caret symbol here then the number can be between 0 to 9. So, we have written 0 dash 9 and this number can be repeated multiple times at least one mu must be there. So, we have used the plus symbol here then we are using the dollar symbol meaning is the string must be ended with the numbers only ok. So, we need to check whether our value is uh, as per the regular expression or not then uh, it is ok otherwise we will display the message a user must enter the numbers only. So, we are accessing this value in the T1. So, we are checking here. So, a dot match then passing the regular expression. Okay, if it is true, so yeah, here you can write, please write only numbers. If it is not. Yes, it is showing please write only numbers. So, when you write the number like uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, so it will not show here. Okay. So, it is checking that uh, pe aap jab bhi, agar kuch aur bhi character likhte hain, to agar aap perform validation pe click karenge, to yahan pe bar bar bolega aap se ki aapko numbers likhne hai. तो ये एक वैलिडेशन हमने लगाया है इस टेक्स्ट बॉक्स पे ये इंश्योर करने के लिए कि आप इसमें खाली नंबर ही लिखें जैसे ही आप नंबर लिखेंगे तब कोई भी आपको अलर्ट बॉक्स नहीं आएगा मीनिंग कि हमारा जो टेक्स्ट बॉक्स है ये प्रॉपर वैलिडेट हो रहा है अब हम इसको तो आ, प्रोग्राम को इंक्रीज करते हैं वी अगेन पुटिंग वन मोर टेक्स्ट बॉक्स For example, enter roll number here. Roll number we are checking only for the only numbers, then enter name, name must be of characters only. So, what we are going to check, there are two text box, two text box only. Pahle text box we will check karenge ki roll number jo hai, wo number hona chahiye. दूसरे टेक्स्ट बॉक्स में खाली हम ये चेक करेंगे कि जो भी वैल्यू आएगी वो खाली करैक्टर हो तो हम दो वैलिडेशन इसमें लगा रहे हैं पहले में हम सिर्फ नंबर चेक करेंगे दूसरे में हम ये चेक करेंगे कि सिर्फ सिर्फ करैक्टर हो उसके लिए हमें वैलिडेशन परफॉर्म करना है अब यहां पे एक रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन हमने लगाया सिर्फ रोल नंबर को चेक करने के लिए ये रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन सिर्फ नंबर को चेक करता है तो so, उसके लिए हमें करैक्टर अगर हमें बना करैक्टर चेक करना है तो हमें फिर से एक रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन बनाना होगा वी आर आर जी वन इक्वल टू कैरेट सिंबल देन स्मॉल ए टू जेट कैपिटल ए टू जेट क्लोज प्लस एंड डॉलर सिंबल So, we have make two regular expression, one to check only the roll number for the numbers. It will ensure your roll number text box consist of only the number. Second text box is to ensure that it consist of only the characters. So, we have used uh, the regular expression small a to z and capital A to z. It can be any uh, uh, case like in lower case are in upper case. 
Now we need to access the value. We are accessing the value T1 like this way and again we are accessing the value VRB equal to, we can write the same sentence here, T2. Okay, and now you can match here. So here we are giving the regular expression to REG1, and here you can write, please write. alphabets only yeah and you can say write characters only so it is a now we have a two text box running the program so we have a two text box first it will check for only numbers so suppose we have written character here so it will display please write the numbers only and we have written the number like roll number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and again we have written number here. So, it will look in the second text box only the characters are allowed. Okay. So, here if you write a name here, Rajesh, so perform the validation, please write only characters. So, we need to look for the coding, some it should be not match small a to z ok it should be b it should be b you can see the error it should be b because b variable is receiving the second value now running the program So, if you write the character here, perform only numbers, perform only characters. So, if you write number here and again write the number here, so it will display in the second text box, please write only characters. So, if you written the character here, Rajesh, so you can see there is a no alert box is there meaning is first text box validation is correct it is taking only the roll number and the second text box uh, validation is also correct it is taking only the uh, characters only okay thank you very much for this session i just want to show you how to run the program so i have taken the simple program uh, you can write the program in the javascript to in the body tag also you can write the program in the head section also and i uh, demonstrated how will you uh, or you can say perform the addition of two number and how will you perform the validation in the text boxes thank you very much